Hello everybody, this is Carl out at Manibu Farms, and as you can see, we're preparing for another sweat here. It's our first of the month sweat, but actually what I wanted to talk to you about real quick was the um, blood pressure issue here, and actually I've got president of lot four over here, Roy Storm, to actually do a little talk, because he's got a high blood pressure, and he's going to share with us a little bit about that. Go ahead, Roy. Okay, uh, normal blood pressure is below 120 over 80. Blood pressure between 120 and 80 and 139 over 89 are called prehypertension. And a blood pressure of 140 over 90 or above is considered high. The top number here, the systolic blood pressure, corresponds to the pressure in the arteries as the heart contracts and pumps blood forward into the arteries. The bottom number, the diastolic pressure, represents the pressure in the arteries as the heart relaxes after the contractions. The diastolic pressure reflects the lowest pressure to which the arteries are exposed. Now we're going to take mine because we're trying to lower Lower my blood pressure, so all we can do here. So, now, last time you came and did a sweat here, Roy, you went home and said that your blood pressure had been drastically affected, right? Oh, yeah, it, it went down really, really well. It, it, and I slept really well. And so I just wish I could do this every day, <laughs> but because of like when we went to Sundance, my blood pressure was really high and the stones were way too hot, uh, my uh, my body couldn't take it. So we're gonna see how I'm doing now. So here, let's build this back here, and here we go. Not good. This is 160 over 95 with a heart rate of 104, which is not good at all. Okay. So we will wait until after the sweat, after yeah. the round, and we'll come out and do it again. And again, just for those people who may have missed it at the beginning, what would be the ultimate numbers you would want to see there? What would a normal... Oh, 120 over 80. 120 over 80, so you've got a lot above that. Oh yeah. As okay, it says, folks. I'm in category two here, but there isn't an irregular heartbeat, which is okay too. All right, so we'll show you this after the sweat today and see what the difference is. stones. Normally we'd use much more than that. And now we're back up here at his machine. And we're gonna we're gonna take this second test of it again. So. Homo Takwa. As you see there, a few people just came out. And are, there's a, there's a, sorry about that folks. There's a few people who just came out of the lodge. That's the fire keeper there, bending down, getting things ready for the next round. Okay, here we go. He's, a, he's a ready for this to go. We'll see this machine run again. As you can see, he's still out of breath. So we kind of marched him right up here. That probably wasn't a good idea to march him right up the hill. But, uh... Okay, folks. There we go. It was, bottom number I don't think changed, if I remember correctly, but that top number sure changed. That went down to 129. Okay. Got it. That was the one we just did. Okay. That was the one before. So it went from 160 to 129 just with one round of sweating. Yeah. So it does. So. Yeah, what, I know you're. It's so hard to speak. I've been where you're at right now, but uh, what can you nice, tell us? It was, it was. It was a nice, compassionate round. Um, 
Yeah, usually we use ten stones or so in a round here, and... We used seven okay. for that round. It was uh, a good invite for them. Um, and because... We of easily learn how to just breathe. Give thanks for that breath. And you really give thanks to what you come out. <laughs> Watch day. Oh. Well, we'll do th we'll we'll do this one more time. I'll get dressed and let my heart rate come down a little bit. Go back and, to normal. Uh, yeah. And, uh, we'll see. Because it should it should balance out uh, a, a better result. And you won't feel so dizzy to be able to talk then. So we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to you there. I'm still okay. in the spirit world. Uh -huh. Okay, folks, here we are. It's been 10 15 minutes <coughs> since he got out of the sweat lodge. He did one round again. And uh, it's probably a little too dark to see anything, but we'll light a lighter when it comes time to f read the final numbers. And we want to see what the. Now that he's more calm and relaxed, back to his normal station, his normal way of breathing, what exactly the meter reads. We're counting down. Okay. Well, look at that. It's even gone even down further. Okay. 112 oh, over 90. 112 over really 90. Good. And that his heart really rate's back good. down to 108. So everything is extremely better after a sweat. So, folks, if you have high blood pressure, if this is something you struggle with, check out your local sweat lodges. Check out your local saunas. I, I highly recommend the sweat lodge because it gives you that religious connection, that spiritual faith, that connecting with your traditions to hopefully in tune you and that's part of that medicine that heals you. But if that's not your thing, if you're not of a religious person or you feel weird, try at least going to a sauna at your local gym. This heat is an amazing tool that we've been given to heal ourselves and to heal our bodies. Gets out so, the toxins. That's right. Sweat out that that sickness that we put in. GMO. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, oh. Give a quick glance down there at the fire pit real quick before I shut off the camera. There's the fire and the lodge going down, and we wish you all a good night here at Manabu Farms, and we hope that this has helped you in some way or will help you in some way. Remember, if we all gave up our lawns for gardens, there'd be no more hunger in this world.